FNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny, soon to be rainy, I believe, Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. And currently we have a bit of a mixed bag out here. You've got the Russell 2000 up five points, quarter of a percent. New York Stock Exchange up a quarter percent, 37 points. The Dow is flat. Well, just turned green. The S&P is off seven. The Nasdaq is off 70. Semis are down 97. Tranny's off 705. Gold's off 28 bucks. Trading at 1925. Silver down 46 pennies. Trading at 2467. Lights recruit off about. 99.21. Natural gas up nine cents to the 30 year treasury, basically flat. It's down five ticks. Let's uh, spend just a moment here and take a look at our indice charts because I want to switch over before the end of the session, go take a look at those 30 minute charts. But basically, what you can see or notice here is the targets for each of these indices are their green oscillator and change line. And the Dow basically has gotten down to it. The SP has not, the NASDAQ 100 has not, the Russell 2000 has not, the semis, their line was red. That's not a good scene for it. Um, the transports uh, having a miserable day, uh, they're, but they're very right back to a breakout area, meaning a gap to the upside. Uh, New York Stock Exchange still needs to get to lower price to get that oscillator and change line, as does the NASDAQ composite. Uh, the, the point here is that if these green oscillator and change lines hold, folks, that is a bullish, a very bullish signal. And that could set up the C point of an A to B equal CD to the upside or certainly give you a signal of a move to the upside. So that's what those charts show. We're going to go ahead and switch over. Uh, to take a look at our short-term time frame equity future charts. Because when we began the show, or the Trader's Edge show at 1 o'clock, there were bottoming patterns that were forming. So we want to go take a look at what we have out here. So you still have the TD9 count bottom and wave number 7 inside of the ES Mini. Price is dealing with resistance at that red oscillator and change line. If price can get above it, it looks like it will. It's certainly trying to. Then what we should see is a move up to 45.23. If price gets above 45.23, we're looking at a move to 45.38. New profile that forms since that one, uh, since we came on the air at one o'clock. The NQ TD9 count wave number seven bottom. If price can clear 14.785, that's the oscillator and change line. A move to 14.812 or. Yeah, 14.812 is the top of its profile. You get above that, then you're headed back to 14.955. The YM, the Dow Equity Future Contract, confirmed TD9, Rosemont to Indicator Bottom. Price is targeting 34.634, and above that, 34.800. Folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear is up next. Have a fantastic Friday, a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you back here on Monday at 1 o'clock sharp. Take care and be safe.